many of the groups on the left, mostly the white left and others, I know for a fact that there's going to be the blocking of highways and there's going to be arrest and, um, you know, there's going to be some things, not here, but it's going to go on next week. It's highly likely that there will be a lot of arrests, there will be um, tear gas, it's going, to, it's going to be happening, it will be happening here. That's Malik Shabazz from Black Lawyers for Justice talking about the protests at the Republican National Convention. It's just two days away and the stakes could not be higher in this historic race for the White House. Joining me now by phone, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark, who'll be speaking at the convention also. Good evening, Sheriff. How are you, Judge? I am fine, thank you. Malik Shabazz, going to be a lot of arrests, from what I know, blocking of highways, tear gas, etc., what do you make of all that? Well, look, this is an important part of our democratic process, the selection of the next president of the United States, and this has to go on. So, you know, my uh, wish is that the law enforcement in Cleveland, I'm sure they're prepared, but that they put down an aggressive foot right away, right out of the gate, to show, to draw the line, a very bright line, as to what kind of behavior is not going to be tolerated. You know, one of the things, uh, Sheriff, and I, I don't know if you could see this, but I've been in Cleveland uh, all day today, and I went to the rally that was supposed to, you know, garner 10,000 people or something. And the, uh, the way I counted, and the pictures are now up on the screen, there couldn't have been more than maybe 100 people there. Uh, you know, are they, are they talking uh, a big big game or as some of these new black panthers are saying they're going to arm up and come to cleveland is, do you think that's a possibility i mean we're sure. in ohio sure and i would take that stuff seriously and i would be prepared for it i always say you hope for the best but you prepare for the worst but like i said uh law enforcement and some of these agencies that i'm seeing across the united states are taking too soft an approach that does not work it didn't work in the 60s when we had this type of environment going on then you got law enforcement officers hurt and killed. You got civilians, um, innocent civilians hurt and killed. It was a disaster to take this soft approach. You cannot play uh, pussyfoot with these individuals. You have to throw the hammer down early. Like I said, reasonable, but it has to be effective. And you know what they understand? They understand force. They do not understand a passive state by law enforcement. So, you know, there's a balance here. And, and, and that's for the commanders on the ground, the law enforcement commanders. You don't want to overreact, but at the same time, you do not want to hesitate. And I, I know for a fact, I've been doing this for 38 years. If you send a loud and clear message right away to the criminal element, to these thugs, to these anarchists, you know what? They'll get the point. They'll still push you a little bit, but they'll know where the line is. Right now, they do not know where the line is, and so they continue to push. Well, I think that's very true. And, you know, uh, Sheriff, uh, being here today, I mean, you see a lot of a law enforcement presence. And, and my next guest, uh, Chris Cox, who's with me, we're going to be talking about uh, some of the motorcycle groups that are coming here. But let's talk about you and the convention. Now, Scott Bayo was just on, and I asked him what he was going to say at the convention. Do you know what you're going to be talking about? And which night are you here? Wednesday? I'm uh, Monday. I'll be arriving in town tomorrow and uh, preparing. I do have a prepared speech. I don't want to let too much of the cat out of the bag, but I think uh, if people were to take a guess, you can kind of know what I'm going to talk about. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Sheriff, you're very articulate, very much looking forward to it. And finally, uh, in terms of what happened uh, in Dallas, uh, you know, the, I know that obviously you've been in law enforcement a long time. Uh, law enforcement throughout the country as we go forward, uh, uh, do they have the resources that they need to combat what seems to be uh, a real problem in this country? No, I'm going to be straightforward. We don't have all the resources we need. Law enforcement agencies all across the country, including my own, we're down in personnel. Budgets have been cut. It's kind of that uh, crime reduction dividend that uh, policymakers have been uh, cashing in on not giving law enforcement as much money because crime rates were down. But when you have crime on the run, you want to keep your foot on the neck of the criminal and of the, the criminal of the uh, uh, of crime and disorder. You don't want to let off the throttle, but that's what we did. And now it's, the, it, it's coming back to haunt them. We don't have the equipment. President Obama ended the 1033 program, which allowed law enforcement officers and law enforcement agencies to use surplus uh, military equipment, not tanks. 
and, and, and uh, surface-to-air yeah. missiles, but things like ballistic armor, ballistic vests, we can no mm-hmm. longer get that stuff. Uh, now they have to go in and use their budgets, and their budgets are slim anyway, so we don't have the equipment as well. But something like what happened in Dallas, uh, you really couldn't plan for that sort of ambush. Um, but I'll tell you right now, um, people are starting to get it in terms of realizing that law enforcement officers, these agencies, uh, crime fighting uh, has to you know, be invested in again if we're going to reverse this, this upward tick in uh, crime violence and disorders, in our, especially in our major urban centers. All right. All right. Sheriff David Clark, we look forward to seeing you in Cleveland. Thanks so much for being with us. Looking forward to getting there. Thank you, Judge.